Hello, good morning. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a European market update uh, midday, Tuesday, the 5th of April 2016. Before I start, be sure to visit tradesignal.com and download this uh, latest app, uh, but introduced by CFDs.com on the Google Play and App Store, and certainly uh, gain access to my uh, analysis uh, via the app and other uh, respected analysts okay let's start with regards to european markets okay down uh, quite substantially this morning uh, certainly more than expected from my perspective although i did i was uh, short the nasdaq last night uh, and i have actually been stopped out on the FTSE long from 6100 this morning okay so let's try and uh, decipher so uh, u.s markets finished week uh, led mainly by test uh, tesla i think it was down 10 percent after hours given the fact that the uh, sales missed now the FTSE 100 uh, down almost 1.5 percent the dax a whopping 2.3 percent and the cac down two percent and that's mainly due to the weaker pmis this morning okay that's the main concern obviously the uh, asian markets were down regardless uh, the nikkei was down 2.5 percent even though we had talked with regards to qe uh, and that certainly didn't uh, did, did not uh, alleviate the concerns obviously the main reason is uh, obviously commodities uh, with oil uh, hitting uh, i think a pivot low of uh, let's just bring up the chart I did explain that there was a H&S formation on oil price. Uh, now, we are actually coming into support, by the way, with regards to oil. So uh, it certainly seems to have been overdone. Uh, now, the oil price itself, you do have previous resistance equal support in this region. So we still are uh, aiming for target at 33. We've hit a pivot low of 35 from my perspective. And uh, there certainly is more room to go, given the weaker PMIs this morning. But having said that, the market has fallen from the pivot high of 43 down to 35. So almost eight plus dollars now okay so uh, uh so the footsie itself for the drop this morning of 1.3 percent certainly reflects that as well okay so given the fact that obviously oil was certainly weaker we, let's just bring up a chart of copper as well copper still is hanging in there at uh, that previous support previous resistance equal support region and that certainly needs to be uh, paid attention to as well with regards to the dollar we had uh, uh mr rosengren yesterday i think his name is uh, and another chap uh who basically was, was renowned to be uh, dovish but obviously sounded hawkish and that sent the dollar uh, sc not screaming higher but higher quite substantially although that hasn't reflected in the usd jpy as you can see here the dollar index certainly hit a double bottom and certainly is holding on the daily chart as well if i bring up the um that was that's the uh, dgfxcm let's bring up the actual dollar itself here we go okay so live price of the dollar itself okay here we go a 24 hour chart the dollar now is coming into resistance so from my perspective you are looking for a potential pullback here uh, and you will see the um the actual uh aussie and the, and the uh, kiwi certainly starting to move higher as well although i am actually underwater on the kiwi trade so that certainly is interesting although equity should, should potentially bounce from here okay i am actually along the s p and the nasdaq at this juncture okay so as you can see the uh, oil price weakness obviously uh, economic data weakness this morning as well we had the rba exports imports certainly weaker so that obviously triggered that off in asia uh, not only that you had uh, spanish data certainly coming out coming in stronger you had french data coming weaker italian data weaker german retail sales weaker uh, uk data certainly came in stronger to a, to a, to a large extent uh, the uh, uh, eurozone data certainly weak as well uh, so overall, uh, re although European retail sales certainly beat expectations, now we have uh, US trade balance out shortly and then about our US economic data, so it should be interesting how the markets react to that. But for now, it's European uh, PMIs or European data that certainly is weak, has sent uh, European shares lower. Now let's bring up the chart of the German DAX because that is the leader in Europe. Let's just see exactly how that's faring. Okay, so daily chart of the German DAX, you had that pivot uh, support at the night of six, no, 9500, which I kept going on about and obviously we are uh, we have finally reached that now and that certainly will be a, an area of potential support and the market should bounce based on that hence the reason why i'm long the nasdaq and the s p 500 okay so the german dax now the 60 minute chart the german dax again you haven't actually completed uh, the gap itself so it certainly is uh, does remain open okay so that's some, certainly something to consider now you have uh, got a previous resistance equal support in this region here and that's why we, we are certainly holding this level at the 9570 zone okay the 10 minute chart the german dax uh, it's certainly a little premature but one can argue that you are uh, technically brewing a inverted head and shoulders mini one and therefore you are looking for a potential bounce Okay, so again, the unfill gap that we can see at the 9822 zone, that certainly is going to remain open. 
again previous support equals resistance in this zone here and then this zone here so again all about gap and I attempting to close those gaps okay right the euro stocks let's bring up the chart the euro stocks now okay euro stocks himself okay so the daily chart the euro stocks we had a, a HNS formation so if I just attempt to draw that in you want the left shoulder here you want the head here obviously the right shoulder here and the market has uh, followed through I did explain that the target was I think 9830 if I correct correctly the pivot high being uh, 3130 the neckline being uh, 2970 so 160 point drop uh, 160 point drop from 2970 you are looking at around 2810 to 800 which technically brings you down to this zone here okay and obviously you've got the unfilled gap at 2750 now the only way we can see a concerted sell-off in the uh, euro stocks or european indices is if the euro usd st st screams higher and that hasn't been the case as you can see here the euro usd has a hit a pivot or a low of 1.135 now okay it's certainly languishing and it certainly has hit that pivot top i did explain that there was a hns formation yesterday in my analysis videos and you can see that's exactly what's occurring right now. So any more QE talk? Uh, any, uh, we have got Mr. Draghi on top this week as well, so that should be interesting. And you are looking at his HNS and uh, formation now being triggered. And that obviously will put a potential pivot low in the EU equities as well. Okay. And that's net-net bully for EU equities, regardless of the weak data. And uh, given the fact that inflation data was certainly weak yesterday, weak uh, PMI data as well, out of the Eurozone, and you are looking at a weaker euro okay right let's move on okay so in terms of the FTSE 100 now uh, or should we bring up the cat let's just bring up the cat whilst we're here on European equities you are into support on the daily chart now gap fill support on uh, the French CAC looking at the 60 minute chart at the moment you've got gap fill uh, support again okay so that gap certainly has closed certainly looking for a potential uptick here on the French CAC now you do have multiple obviously unfilled gaps above so again they will act as magnets okay in terms of price action so let's bring up the French CAC again. Okay, let's have a look here. So uh, you have gap fill here. Okay, you certainly seem to have closed a gap uh, here. Okay, so uh, given the fact that you had this uh, bearish channel, uh, you certainly seem to have uh, a falling contracting wage type pattern. You certainly, you've certainly broken out of that. And you are looking for a potential thrust tires. So my bias certainly remains bullish for at this juncture now, given the fact that we've certainly uh, factored in all the bearish data, and we are looking for a potential move or reversal higher. Okay, that certainly is my uh, current uh, stance on this market. Okay, let's just put in our zones here. These are all zones, important zones with regards to support and resistance. Looking for a potential thrust tire. Okay, so the FTSE 100 now, just to finally finish on, let's just see exactly where the FTSE is. Uh, the FTSE certainly has uh, betrayed me this morning. I, I actually attempted to go long at 6100 and I was stopped out at, at uh, the uh, 5 uh, or 6070 zone. Okay, the next potential support now seems to be at 6040 at the way in which we're currently trading. Although you do have that pivot support doji here, which is previous resistance equals support, and that certainly seems to be at 6070. Interesting. Okay, a uh, 60 minute chart of the FTSE itself. You are into horizontal support. So certainly respect that for now. So that uh, pivot low, which is seen at 6070, certainly remains a key support zone. And you are looking for a potential bounce on the FTSE 100 at this juncture, okay? Any bounce obviously will be based on a, a lower high uh, before we start to uh, test that 6040 zone. If oil prices certainly start to recover quite substantially, then yes, you will uh, see a, a rally in the FTSE 100 back up to 6190. So. Whether or not that can be uh, that can be achieved given the weaker EU, EU data this morning, that again will come into question. But each day as it comes, okay, each day as it comes. 60 minute chart of the FTSE itself. You are, like I said, you have built a base here now. This zone here, multiple areas of support certainly remains the key uh, key zones, okay. So again, looking for a potential a bullish pattern, and I can certainly see one straight away. If I go to the five minute chart, you'll see it much better, and you can clearly see an inverted head and shoulders formation here. I just delete these lines uh, here you can see that we're certainly consolidating and you have this left shoulder head the right shoulder here building and obviously looking to thrust tire so any thrust tire at the moment uh, resistance first reserve of resistance is here the next level of resistance is here so 6100 will be a potential first target on the FTSE 100 okay I think that's a market wrap be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs 
and um, uh, bear in mind uh, the uh, the actual offer is still available so that's certainly something that you want to take advantage of uh, with the 25 percent cash bonus offer and uh, certainly visit the uh, educational site as well www.cfds.education although the trade signal app certainly has taken over there okay so be sure to download the trade signal app too okay folks goodbye